Have you ever wondered if the conservative or the liberal voice is more popular? We all know that the news tends to lean left. It's just how far left it goes. And there's popular consensus that CNN is very, very far left, where Fox News is kind of more middle-centric with what they report. So we'll use that as the proxy for a conservative voice, and we'll use the CNN as a proxy for the liberal voice. Which one is more popular in the American public eyes? So what it is, I put together a ranking of, the, of those two players against each other on all the popular pla platforms. So start with, we went through the Google search volume, then the YouTube search volume, their YouTube channel views, their Instagram, their Twitter, their Facebook, and their website to see which one is more popular, all based around the data. Not my opinion. You can go do the research yourself. Now, with that being said, if this is your first time here, well, what's good? My name is Sam, and for those of you who are returning, it's good to freaking see you. So, uh, if you take a look over here, um, this is Google Trends, and the reason I wanted to take a look at this data is because there's so much tension, we'll call it, in the system right now where people don't know how to deal with somebody else who doesn't agree with what they agree with. And there's a, a budding of heads. Now, when you think about it on a, on a more of a forest versus the trees thing here, What's going on right now is truly amazing. The internet has allowed everybody to have a voice. And all of those voices and different ideas and opinions about how the world should work are getting distilled across the world, and specifically here in the US. So there's a, there's a ton of tension around people's differing opinions around what happens in the world. So here I wanted to understand which one's more popular on a macro basis. What do people actually care about? So that's why I put this ranking together. And as I was mentioning, Google Trends, and they track both Google search volume and YouTube search volume, the number one and number two sites in the planet. So we're going to take a look over here on the right, and we get to actually see that uh, there's a substantial amount more increase, and you can see over here in this graph, there's a lot more data for uh, Fox News than there is CNN. Uh, and then you just put in the search term, and then it pulls it up. That's both on the on Google and on YouTube. So uh, we got two early points here for Fox News because on both of them, and this is just in the United States, so you can look by geographic region to see which one is more popular. People are searching for Fox News more than they are searching for CNN. And it's more than four to one for on Google and more closer to like six to one, seven to one, meaning for every seven or eight searches of Fox, there's one search for CNN News. Um, and that's what brought me over to, to their YouTube channel. So we've got Fox and CNN. They both have multiple channels. Uh, so I took the biggest one from each network. And uh, it was kind of interesting. Uh, I was actually in my mind because there's so much with the president around CNN, I've actually thought that CNN might actually have more views here. Uh, but when we look at the data, we used Social Blade, which is a uh, website that tracks different social platforms, um, whether it be Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, et cetera. And they use different metrics here. So what we did is we took the total number of subscribers on each channel and the total number of views over the last 30 days. I'm the sorry, the total number of subscribers over the last 30 days and the total number of views over the last 30 days. And we can see right over here that uh, both had a ridiculous amount of views, right? Um, CNN had 225 million views, roughly, and um, 
Fox had 282 million views, roughly, or 280. So there's a uh, pretty big delta on there by about 50 million views, but they also had 110,000 more subscribers over the last 30 days than CNN did. So they won both of those categories, so that's factors. So it's actually three to zero uh, so far. Now, the next category is Instagram. So I pulled up Instagram for each one of those. Again, I used Social Blade to take a look at this uh, data here to see who is actually more successful. And on Instagram, what we used is the total number of followers, but also the total number of, um, the total engagement. So this is the engagement over the last 20 posts or so on um, Instagram. Let me show you right over here. And I think it's over the last 20 pictures. Yeah, so it's over the last 20 pieces of content that were posted on Instagram. And we can see here that in this category here, we have in the top in terms of the number of followers over the last 30 days, CNN wins by about 75, 78,000. More followers gained over the last 30 days than Fox. But Fox had a higher engagement rate, so people were more engaged with what Fox put out, but CNN gained more followers. So this, they each get half a point on that. So that's now CNN is actually on the board. The next one that we took a look at was Twitter. Um, now, again, we just used Social Blade to gather the data here. And the interesting thing about Twitter is the staggering difference that we have between the amount of tweets for from CNN versus the amount of tweets from Fox. So this is just the total number of tweets over the last 30 days. We can see here that it's probably pretty small for you guys, but it's 4,392 tweets. So when, when you look at that, that's a lot of tweets every single day. If you take uh, that divided by 30, that is uh, almost nearly 150 tweets per day, every day for the month. And, and this is probably going on for quite a while. Uh, so you would think that they would win compared, I mean, like they're substantial, like uh, Fox tweeted 298 times. So like 10 times per day. And CNN tweeted <laughs> Uh, way more than them. It's so much more than them. It's absolutely insane. More than 10 times more than them, uh, which is absolutely crazy. And they it reflects in the numbers, right? They gained 425,000 followers versus 100,000 followers for uh, Fox. But the interesting thing about that is when you think about a neighborhood, if you were, say, campaigning for something, uh, and you go to your neighborhood and you knock on a thousand doors a month and I go to the neighborhood and I knock on 10,000 wh Who do you think is going to meet more people and talk to more people and get them to support their cause or give them money or whatever the case is? Right? They're showing up 4,400 times every month where Fox News is only showing up 300 times a month. There's a big differential in that. Uh, so that went to um, CNN. So now it's they are on the board that just scored in the last two rounds. The next is Facebook likes. So there's a total number of likes that have been gained over the last 30 days. Fairly close. This is only off by about 20,000. We've got about 73,000 versus about 53,000. So about 20,000 uh, delta between those two. But the, then the next is the total number of people that were talking about them. So this could be uh, comments, mentions, and shares. Uh, Facebook, they, they actually calculate this on Facebook. Um, Fox had about 4.5 million people talking about them. And CNN had about 2.7 million people talking about them. So a pretty big delta on there by over a million Right, we've got one point something million uh, delta between the two of those. So Fox easily wins that one. The last one, which I think is kind of interesting, is their website. So for this, we used uh, Alexa. Now Alexa is an Amazon company that does uh, research for web analytics and other purposes for comp you can use it as a research tool or for researching your competition or trying to improve your website and Alexa uh, gives us a US ranking of CNN site of 20th so that means out of all the sites in the US that are ranked in Alexa they're ranked 20th that is amazing that is very very high 
Uh, Fox News is also very, very high, just not as high, 57, so about three times worse. And then on a global basis, uh, 250th roughly for Fox and 79th. So there's a lot of global um, audience that goes to CNN, a lot more than for Fox News. So that's kind of interesting that there's a lot more global people who watch CNN versus who, who watch Fox. Um, it's kind of interesting to see the, the, the difference in that. But when we tally up all the scores, we see that Fox has 4.5 versus 2.5 across the board. And a number of one of the, a, a number of these categories, Fox has actually come out ahead. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this type of analysis and what you think about the conservative proxy that we used in terms of Fox versus the liberal proxy that we used in terms of CNN down below in the comment sections. And if you want to see the next video that we have on the same type of analysis, but on Donald Trump versus Joe Biden, make sure you press that subscribe button and that bell notification. So YouTube will notify you when I post the next video. Peace.